was on a webinar trying to learn how to drive more traffic to my blog. I write um, blog posts not as often as I probably need to, but I, I do take a lot of time and effort when I write a blog post. One post can take me six, eight, maybe even 12 hours to write because I find the, the photographs that will support the story and the videos, and then I have to edit the videos, add music, add uh, sometimes an over, a uh, voiceover, upload those to YouTube, embed them into the, the blog post, and then also go through the pictures, find the ones that, that illustrate the story the best, edit them, export them, import them. So it can take me quite a long time, and I, I don't have a lot of people reading my blog posts, and, and my blog posts are about, obviously, what I'm about. Um, different animal behavior, traveling to different wildlife rich places around the world. Um, some of them are just stories of the individual animals that I meet. Others are more, um, how do you say it? Uh, like we went here, we did this, we saw that um, step by step, almost procedural. That's really, um, I don't normally write in that style, but my Galapagos and Ecuador posts were in that style because we went to so many different islands. So it was like, we went to this island, this is all the things that we saw on this island. And um, it was full of photographs and, and, and videos. So it takes me a really long time to make these posts. And, and I actually love doing it because I get to relive everything. And then I get to use my photographs. Um, but I would love for more people to see them and more people to read them. So I was on a webinar last night about how do you drive more traffic to your blog? And actually the webinar was all about making money with your blog, which sure, that would be nice. I would love to bring in an income, but that isn't my ultimate goal. My ultimate goal is to raise empathy and awareness. But I can't do that if people aren't coming. So I, I have an issue and I've, I've always kind of stepped away from these types of programs, courses, how to learn it because they're all about writing based on keyword research. Now in one way that makes sense because this is what people are looking for, but in another way, I wanna share the things that I understand and know about and can really add value to. So I, I get stuck and this is the business part of the business that I don't know. Um, the legal tax side, I, I know, but it's the marketing, how do you reach people that I struggle, I really struggle, I don't know how to do that. And part of it's because of, you know, the mind, I'm not good enough, the stuff that I'm putting out there, nobody's gonna wanna read it, um, or my pictures aren't as good as, you know, so and so. So part of that is just getting over myself and putting it out there. Part of it is because I really don't know how to do it, and I don't, the, the third part is, is what I was just talking about is I want to share the, the truths of what I have actually witnessed in this, in this webinar yesterday, it was actually really good. Um, and she has a course and I'm, I'm actually considering joining it. I, <laughs> I am one of those types of people. Maybe you can relate that I join a course because I need that information and then I just don't have time to take it. So I wanna be really very conscious about um, if this can, can really help me bring my mission forward. But it was talking about doing, doing keyword searches and finding and writing articles about what people really want. And that's great, I, I get that. I wanna write articles about what people really want but only if I have the firsthand knowledge about those things. And it seems to me a lot of the travel bloggers, I, I don't consider myself a travel blogger, but a lot of travel bloggers, what they do is they'll do the keyword research, they'll find something that people are asking about, and they'll write an article without any firsthand personal experience. And that is something I absolutely do not want to do. I want to write articles that are about things that I know because I've experienced it or I've been there. So I'm, I'm kind of in this little this little quandary of how I want to move forward trying to get more eyes on my blog. 
after that, so that was about 8.30, 9 o'clock at night, I realized, oops, I did not post again. So I actually got on to the Facebook, um, whatever it's called, the business suite manager thingy, I don't know. And I realized from the Facebook side, if I post through that thing, my, my post will go to my business page on Facebook and Instagram. But for some reason, if I'm posting on Instagram, they're going to my personal page. And not that that's a problem. I just, uh, I, I tend to put different things on my personal page than I do on my business photography page. I like my business photography page to be a little bit more um, high end, better artistic photographs. And then on my personal page, I tend to put more, um, whether they're a technically good photograph or not, it's more of a, like a cute or something that really meant a lot to me, the stories and, and things like that. So I did get my post done. And now we're heading into the weekend. I am not gonna do a vlog on Saturday and Sunday. I'm actually gonna go spend some time with my mom um, and get a massage. So I'm looking forward to that. And I will be back on Monday. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, and I just gotta do a shout out. I got my, I can't see the camera. I've got my Savo Trust for Elephants t-shirt on today. Um, I don't think they make these t-shirts anymore. I bought this shirt probably about seven or eight years ago. Um, they're protecting the big tuskers. They're protecting elephants, um, which elephants really need a lot of protection right now, especially in that area, Savo and Baselli. Um, and even up north in Samburu, they're in the middle of a massive, oh, and I lost my necklace, in a massive, massive drought uh, right now. And the elephants are um, breaking into croplands, farmlands, to steal crops and to try and find water. It's really sad. Um, I have a blog post about my trip to Ambicelli in, no, when was I there? earlier this year and then I just went it was November so it was last year in November and then I just was back in um, January and from what I understand they've had a little bit of rain but not near enough to help uh, get over the drought so it's been really really bad over there right now there's so much human wildlife conflict going on and um, it's it's sad and it's, it's nonprofits like Savo Trust for Elephants, Big Life Foundation, Ambicelli Trust for Elephants. There's one in St. Brew and I'm, I'm drawing a blank. That's a really good one too. Oh, Save the Elephants in St. Brew. They're working really hard. Um, there's also the Mar, Mar Elephant Project. Um, the Mara is doing better. They have a lot more rain than um, the other regions of Kenya. So anyway, that's my plug for them for the day. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and I will see you on Monday.